Hello, my name is Manu and welcome to another episode of Tursku. So, uh, last week I did collect some stuff away from the boat and uh, as I promised last week, this week we are gonna put the boat into hibernation for good for this winter. So there's three things I'm gonna do. Uh, First of all, I'm gonna drive the antifreeze into the engine so the freezing won't break anything during the winter. And se second, I'm gonna, uh, after that, I'm gonna disconnect the batteries. Uh, and uh, third thing I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna jack up the trailer or the, or the uh, wheels of the trailer from the ground so the tires won't go bad when they're under under pressure so those are the three things I'm gonna do now and uh, without, without any extra explanations let's just uh, jump into it okay so this is pretty much the same procedure uh, as it was in the springtime when I uh, drove out the coolant or the antifreeze from the engine but uh, basically well, what I need is some coolant, some water and a bucket and a screwdriver for the hose clamps in the intake pipe of the water pump so I'm gonna do a mixture, mixture. I'm gonna pour in some coolant into the bucket that and some more I'm gonna do a quite strong strong mixture mixture because uh, I don't want it to freeze uh, it's uh, the uh, coolest temperatures during, during the Finnish winter Maya might be even minus 30 degrees Celsius so I want the uh, end result to be that even then it won't freeze but after that I'm gonna take the water can and uh, Open it like that, and uh, then I'm gonna fill the uh, bucket with some water. And after that has gone through the engine we should be a-okay with it so the point is that uh, when there's just fresh water in the engine's primary cooling system and in the exhaust when the water freezes it expands and uh, it might also break something when it does that and when, when I put the antifreeze into the system uh, of course the liquids won't freeze and everything's w everything will be fine in the springtime. Here's the filter, water filter for the intake and uh, here's the uh, two hose clamps that are keeping the hose in place. I'm gonna loosen them up. like that maybe I should get rid of the camera from my hand so this would be a lot easier okay and uh, yeah I, I did take the hose clamps away and uh, now I'm gonna take the pipe out there's probably gonna be some water coming out of here 
but it it will just go into the bilge and I'm gonna dry it out later. Like that. The filter emptied up and uh, now I'm just going to take the bucket here and uh, I'm gonna gonna place it into the bottom of the boat and I'm gonna put the hose into the bucket like that so here's the setup and uh, now we just need to uh, we just need to crank the engine and uh, keep it running as long as there's water or coolant in the bucket and when it's empty I, I can just turn the engine off and this job is pretty much done then. So uh, yeah. I believe I do have the uh, keys in my pocket over here and uh, let's put the key in and slightly prepare for the revs like that and uh, then we just crank the edge so that's it so engine is now preserved for the hibernation and I'm gonna put the hose plug back in and then we're gonna move into the next task at hand okay the stairs are back in and the water intake is under that so that's pretty much taken care of and the next thing next thing to do is uh, disconnecting the batteries so as you might remember from the spring we have these two battery banks that's the uh, crank battery so it's only for starting the engine and the uh, vital stuff that needs to be run when the engine is on and uh, there's these two batteries that are uh, the uh, entertainment batteries basically it's for the refrigerator and lights and stuff like that so there's a bit more power over there and uh, the electrical system in this boat is gathered up so that here's the uh, solar panel charge controller that goes into these uh, bigger batteries and uh, because I am re re uh, disconnecting the batteries I also need to disconnect the solar panels from this uh, controller because even though we are inside the the barn over here uh, there might might be some sun rays that get into the panels and bring charge into the controller and uh, the controller won't uh, la uh, it, it breaks breaks up if you don't have anything where you can discharge the solar panel so solar charging so before I'm, I'm gonna take the batteries away I'm gonna take these wires out of the uh, controller and after that I just need a 13 millimeter 
wrench and I'm gonna take the poles out from the battery. Like that. I'm gonna just gonna tuck the uh, wires over here somewhere so I can find them in the spring. Sorry for the bad camera angles. <laughs> There's not too much room for the camera, so it's a bit difficult over here. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, so now we can remove the poles. Let's just loosen everything up. Well, you, you get the idea. I'm gonna use <laughs> both hands of mine. Just a second. This also so you usually you should probably take the batteries out from the boat and keep them warm during the winter but um, I'm not going just gonna do that I'm go gonna charge them full, full on the boat and I am probably gonna charge them full uh, in the middle of the winter and once more in the spring. So uh, they should be in, they, they should stay in pretty much good shape, even though they are not in warmth of our house. So the crank battery is loose, the uh, secondary batteries are loose, and uh, this thing is also considered done. So. Um, that's pretty much it for the insides of the boat for this episode. I've, I still still got some tinkering left left on the boat, but no, nothing nothing bigger. You usually people also change the oils oils in the uh, fall, but uh, I I only did change the oils to the engine in the middle of the summer, so uh, I'm gonna do it that way, so uh, I'm gonna change them in the springtime. It would be better to change them now to preserve the engine, but uh, it's still in, the oils are sti still in good shape and there's no signs of uh, water or anything in the oil as it sure shouldn't so i'm not gonna do that right now but uh yeah the next the next phase for today is to go and jack up the trailer from the ground so see you outside 
Okay, so it's time to jack up the boat. I already did some preparation, so uh, put this plank under the jack, and jack is already here in position to lift the trailer up. And I have some have some wood over here uh, that I'm gonna put over over here when I get it lifted. And uh, yeah, hopefully I don't die, but if I die, at least there's some good footage out of this. So, yeah, let's start lifting. So. I'm not gonna take the uh, tire all, all the way up to the air, but I'm just gonna relieve some pressure out of it by taking it up just a little bit. And the boat weighs quite a lot, so uh, even though this, this is a quite sturdy plank, there's one, one, two by, two by five over here, and uh, one, one just regular, regular board over here on top of it. But it still starts to crackle just a little bit because the uh, boat weighs. Uh, something like four and a half metric tons, so uh, it's quite a lot. But I think the plank is saying that it it already is lifted enough, so I'm gonna put this bigger bigger thing over here, like that, and then one one two by four under it like this and I try to avoid putting any fingers in between over there because that would hurt quite a bit but yeah it's not completely out of the ground but I think that it has enough pressure on it already so I'm not now gonna easily Loosen up the jack and let's see the way weight comes into this and uh, this side is done. Then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side so uh, I'm not gonna bother showing that. You got the idea already. So see you in a while. That's pretty much done. All, or it is done. I even lifted this side just a little bit, some one and a half inches more. And the other side, let's go there. We got also jacked up like that. But uh, yeah, that was the, uh, that was it. Those were the necessary parts, parts for this day. And now Tursku is pretty much ready for the hibernation. And uh, with that, when Tursku is going to hibernation, also the vlog is going to hibernation for a while now. But uh, after that, I haven't yet completely decided that will I continue vlogging next next year. I probably will, but we'll see. But during this time, uh, it is now the the twenty uh, second of October, and you're gonna see this episode probably somewhere in the. Uh, middle of December, I believe. It might be wrong, but we'll see. But uh, yeah, there's uh, at least gonna be one month month of hiatus right now, and uh, we'll see what what the next season brings up. But while, while you wait for the uh, next episode, please give me some comments about this 
first season overall. Well, what did you think about it? What was your favorite episode and stuff like that? And uh, what would you like to see next season? And uh, well, what could I do better? That's it for this season. It has been fun doing these videos, uh, videos and hopefully you have also enjoyed watching them. So uh, that's it. So uh, see you around. Thank you and bye.